Now, to remember his son, who passed away in 2007 at the age of four, Owen Benji Bennett wrote a children's book to remind us all of the importance of love within the family. It went on to have extraordinary success, becoming a bestseller and winning the Irish Children's Book of the Year Junior Award just last week. Benji has now written a second children's book based on the same theme as the bestseller, and he joins us this morning to tell us about Adam's amazing space adventure. Thank you very much for coming in. First of all, congratulations on the award. You must have been absolutely thrilled. I was there, and it was, I don't think there was a dry eye in the house. Everyone was so touched by your, your, your speech, and obviously everyone in the country was touched by your book because it, it sold so well. It's, well, I have to thank you guys because you had me on first originally uh, on the show to promote and I think after that it was uh, just the word got around, huge word, word of mouth. Um, Wednesday was, it was just phenomenal. Um, I don't know whether I was more scared about winning, not winning or having to do a speech <laughs> on the day because uh, I really wanted to do, you know, to say a few words and get Adam's uh, message out about mm. telling your kids you love them and, mm. and uh, try and be with them as much as you can. So... Luckily, I was able to do that, and hugely emotional evening because uh, my whole family were there, and uh, a couple of friends as well. So our table was a family and friends. Yeah. When we won, the table went absolutely nuts. I know, I saw. It was amazing. <laughs> it was like the rowdy bunch are over there. Obviously. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was some. It was just great news. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, so. I have to ask you. By, by doing this book, has it been in some of these this series of books? Has it been cathartic for you in any way? Is, is, is it helping you heal? <clears throat> It's, in some ways, because what happened was a terrible tragedy to you and your family. It, it, was a, it was a huge tragedy, and to be honest with you, I've always considered myself incredibly lucky because there's millions of people out there, well, not millions, thank God, but thousands of people out there who, who have been in a similar situation and worse. I'm not the worst story. There's people who are way worse than me. And uh, really, you know, th this has kind of saved my life, this, you know, doing all of this stuff. And to be able to talk about Adam the way most people, parents would like to be able to and to be able to come on to the show and talk about Adam and how wonderful he was really for me is one of the things to let everyone know how wonderful he was and now he's he's flying around space rockets yeah, and doing all sorts of stuff yeah so it's I'm, I'm really really looking for the that um, <clears throat> the response after your your first appearance on the program was overwhelming now it it had a huge effect on people in here particularly not everybody, but particularly those of us who had kids, because we all basically rushed home that night and squeezed our kids nearly to death. <laughs> it's like, come here, I love you. <laughs> I'm never going to fight with you again, and if I do, I'm going to say sorry before we... You know, all of that sort of stuff. And, and, but we weren't quite prepared for the overwhelming response that came from the viewing public as mm -hmm. well. And they all basically came back with exactly the same thing. But there was, there was another aspect, apart from the message, which mm -hmm. obviously got through. The other thing that, that uh, people commented on was the grace and the dignity with which you and your wife dealt with the situation. Because at that time in any parent's life, the only thing you're thinking about is your grief. Mm. How did you manage to step outside your personal situation mm. and start to think about other people who may potentially be in the situation? Um, Where did that come from? It's, it was the night of Adam's funeral, Jackie. We were, we were obviously in, in bits, and Jackie just said, like, why did this happen to us? And... Uh, well, I suppose two things happened. One is, when something like this, this can kill you. This can kill you, your family, your kids. It can destroy your, everything that you have, and it, and it has. So that was my, num my number one thing, is that Adam was so amazing. He was such a great part of our family. He was so strong and funny that we couldn't let this happen. So it was a case of, and we use this sentence all the time, you can get busy living or you can get busy dying. And we said, <clears throat> let's get busy living. The other thing was is that, you know, we, we've come across people who have had horrific stories, absolutely horrific. And, you know, for, for children who have suffered for years really, really badly, and then they're lost. And then you've got other people where their children were like Adam, they've had an accident, and then they're unrecognisable now. And, you know, so I, that's something I don't think I could deal with. You know, I, I suppose when it happens to you, you have to deal with it. So with Adam, it's far, I can't look at the picture there because yes. it's a particularly uh, poignant one for me. But um, for me, it's, uh, that's really what it's about. Um, no matter how bad things are, and this is for even, because I've lost my job as well before in the way the economy is, no matter how bad anything is, somebody out there is going to be worse than you. And I suppose as this has been going on, I just want to, as much as possible, I won't tell parents to tell their kids to love them. And to, no matter how bad things are, even with the death of a beautiful son, 
if you look at what's on your doorstep, which is your family, your kids, your friends, and just wrap yourself around that, you'll get through absolutely anything. Do you think that sometimes, um, as a nation, as a people, we tend to embrace the more negative rather than the positive? You've had unbelievable tragedy mm -hmm. happen to you. You've, as you said, you've lost your job. I mean, anybody else might just mm -hmm. go down and not mm -hmm. get up again. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you do that? I mean, how, I mean, in your speech the other night, I couldn't believe how positive you are. Mm. Grief stricken, and your heart yeah. will always be broken. That is so true. Mm. But you just seem to see the good in everything now. Did that in some way, did, out of the tragedy, did that say, some way help you to see the more beautiful things in life? Well, um, I've always been quite positive, and to be honest with you, a lot of this message really comes from my wife Jackie, because she's the one who reminds me all of the time about what's important. So, you know, and I used to get all stressed and hassled and annoyed in work. She'd say, look, you know, what are you complaining about? Everything is great here, and everything was, was, was wonderful. So Jackie is a real kind of inspiration behind all of this as well. Uh, you know, Harry, our oldest, and Robbie and Molly, I mean, you know, there's nothing really that can touch you once you've got family, you know, around you and... And anything that does touch you, they'll get you through. Yeah, they'll get you through and you will get, you'll get through. I mean, we've got, we've, well, we haven't got through it, but we're getting through it and we're getting through it very well and we're very lucky that we're, we're in a situation and even sitting here now, like the last time I was on, I was terrified, but it's great to be able to come on a little bit more relaxed and, uh, you know, yeah, talk more about what's happening as well, which is, speaking, which is really great. Speaking with you, because we, we don't have much time left. Um, in, in the original Before You Sleep, um, each page mm. um, was, was sort of a template for mm. other stories. And following on from that, what you've done is the first one, which is obviously um, Adam's Amazing yeah. Space Adventure. You take one page from that, and that then gets enlarged into a story, which mm. is um, Adam's Amazing Space yeah. Adventure. Now, any, anybody who has a little boy knows that at some stage or another, they're going to be fascinated by spacemen and yeah. aliens and whatever, whether it's Star Wars or Star Trek, yeah. or, or even just little funny green men uh, when yeah. they're 